Here's a question that came into the Pony SAT Q&A that I really, I think it's easiest to explain this one where you can kind of see the steps as we do them. So we'll read it first. The number n is increased by 5, and the result is multiplied by 5. This result is decreased by 5. Finally, that result is divided by 5. In terms of n, what's the final result? And so the thing is here, you have to remember that every step you do, you do to the entirety of the previous steps. So let's just start with this. Let's say a number n is increased by 5. Well, that's easy enough. n plus 5. Uh, and then that result is multiplied by 5. So what happens when you multiply the whole result by 5 is, well, you got to do this, right? So this is going to become 5n plus 25. Uh, and then what happens is this result is decreased by 5. And so we're going to subtract 5 from that, and we'll end up with 5n plus 20. There's a 20. Uh, and then what happens is that that result, which I'm going to move up here, 5n plus 20 is divided by 5. 5n plus 20 over 5, that's going to be n plus 4, right? Because when we divide the whole thing by 5, we divide the 5n by 5 and the 20 by 5. So we end up with n plus 4. Hopefully seeing all that mapped out helps you uh, see what's going on. Now maybe what we'll do is now I'll sort of zoom out of all this, undo, 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 and let's just do it all in one step. So a number n is increased by 5 and that result is multiplied by 5. So we'll still have this 5 multiplied by 5. This result is decreased by 5. Outside the parentheses, decreased by 5. Finally, that result is divided by 5. In terms of n, what's the final result? Well, um, this 5 here will cancel with that, and this will become 1. right? So this becomes n plus 5 minus 1 n plus 4. Obviously, the same answer. We just got to it a slightly different way. All right, hope that helped. Uh, talk to you guys soon.